Yo, yo, fuck with your boy AngryFan007 Gmail me PissFan12 at gmail.com Check it out, we on Twitter now AngryFan007 What up, nigga, you good? I'm good, I'm alive, I'm brief, man Shout the whole AngryFan movement Shout the A by my YouTube page A by my Instagram A by my Twitter account Shout the A by my Facebook The Bake Group, you know what I'm saying? Click on the description box Links up in there Come fuck with this nigga real shit Yo, let's get into this um, This K-Shine versus Young L I'm gonna keep it a step with you niggas right now Like, this is a real close-ass battle Keep it real, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of leaning towards um, Young L round three. Um, I did not like the Hitman Holler remix. I can't even front. I did not like that shit, K Sean. I know why you did it. You came at Hitman Holler. I understand that, but I think that you should have clearly, clearly been beating Young L before you even did that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you was not clearly beating this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, the whole when he took the whole Young L, who was this nigga? It was just like ah, yeah, that was kind of because that shit was so stretched out, my nigga. You gotta understand, like that shit was like that. Those are two. Risky ass moves you did the second round right there. So that's up in the middle right there. I, that's why I see some niggas are saying, um, Young L13 Zip. I can actually see why niggas are saying that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm actually looking at Young L1 and 3 right now. You know what I'm saying? And that 2 with that Hitman Holler shit. And a who is this nigga? Depending on how you're looking at that shit, you might give that to Young L and that would make it 3 Zip. You know what I'm saying? But yet, yeah, but then again, uh, yesterday I had, um, I had K Sean winning rounds one and two. You see him? So to me, it really comes down to round one to me. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget, Sean, your rounds are really, really, really looking short. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just gotta be honest with you. They, they are looking short. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that, like, so I'm looking at young L1 and 3, but I don't wanna say that's my final call right now. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Like, it's kind of crazy. You know what I mean? That Sean went like that light on L. I mean, that's what it seems like. I'm not saying, and I'm not, not no shots at. Young L, no shit like that. It just seems like Sean didn't go crazy hard. Besides the first round, you know what I'm saying? First round, Sean was cooking it seemed like. They were both was doing, they was both cooking round one. It's just like, it's just that like Young L outbarred that nigga in my opinion. It's not even like Young L was saying whack shit. So you can't say, oh, uh, quality over quantity. Like, nah, Young, Young L was spending his shit too, real shit. You know what I'm saying? So it really comes down to round one in my opinion. Let me know who you niggas got. What I really want to talk about this battle is I really want to talk to K-Shine. Like, you got to understand how I look at this shit, my nigga. This is just me. You know what I'm saying? This don't got to be about you, nigga. This is about me right here. When I think of Dot Mob, my nigga, I'm thinking Legends. I'm thinking Murder Mook. I'm thinking uh, Nemesis. I'm thinking fucking uh, T-Rex. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about niggas who've been doing this shit. Fuck Legends. These niggas are damn near pioneers in this battle rap shit being on camera. So that's how I'm looking at Dot Mob. You know what I'm saying? Then you got Tay Rock now. And it's just like, come on, my nigga. Like, you got to understand, Dot Mob don't never choke. These niggas, when you heard Dot Mob choking, when you hear these niggas slipping up, the only time I could think of one half a second slip up off the top of my head would be Murder Mook versus Jay Mills. I think he slipped up on one word, and it wasn't even slip up. He caught that shit before anybody else could even catch that shit. So it's just like, you got to understand, Sean, um, the battle with Big T wasn't really that good. Your battle with Arsenal was like, eh. Like, my nigga, like, this is not really... The route that I really want to see Dot Mob going, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to see you niggas start going down and shit. Come on, K-Shine, because it really is, no offense, but it really is falling on you, my nigga. Like, you're the one who's really, like, fucking up and shit in Dot Mob. It's actually K-Shine at this point. I don't know if something is going on with you. I don't know if something personal. I don't know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to let you know, my nigga, that we're watching me right now. And, um... I don't know, my nigga. Like, I really dead ass if you thought that she was gonna beat Young L. Like, I don't like, I don't know what the fuck to even say. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, it was it was a cool battle. You know what I'm saying, um, it was real debatable, which means it's gonna be a good battle if it's debatable. I could have been better in my opinion on both sides. No bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But then again, then again, you know what I'm saying? Young L is just coming back, so I don't even want to put it out there like, oh, Young L ain't go hard. You can clearly see that Young L is improving. You know what I'm saying? I'm more mad at the fact that K Shine is actually, uh, it seems like his skills are decreasing right now and not increasing. And he really needed this fucking battle. Like, I, I really wish K Shine had clearly won. And it's not even about, uh, Young L. It's actually about K Shine at this point. Uh, coming back, you know what I'm saying, and getting a clear win so he can get that momentum back to go back in the right direction, you know what I'm saying, as for Young L, I think Young L did a, um, he had a real good thing, you know what I'm saying, he, he had a good time, he, uh, I mean, he had three good rounds, I mean, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying, straight it down, like, no hate and no shit like that, so, you know what I'm saying, I think it was a cool battle, I'm really more concerned about what you niggas think about this battle right here, um, let me know what you niggas think about this shit, you know what I'm saying, I just think that Kate. They, oh, man, K-Shine, you should have won, my nigga. Like, come on, K-Shine, what's going on, my nigga? Like, who was your next battle? And then I'm, I'm hearing 
Um, we gotta see what's going on with Cortez and, and K Shine now because you can niggas can dead ass say we look and say K Shine that you're on a four game on a four uh battle losing streak if you lost to Cortez. That's how niggas are gonna start looking at this shit, K Shine. You gotta understand, my nigga. This trying to keep real true. Just trying to keep real true. I hit you up on Twitter today, so you know I ain't on no bullshit. Cause I even came at you about the time and shit. You know what I'm saying? You hit me back. You said it was a, a two minute round, but it just looks like your shit is short. And another thing, my nigga, I want to put this out here too. Dog mob, I know you niggas hype your peoples up. I know you do, but you niggas gotta understand something too, my nigga. Y'all can't go crazy over every fucking bar, my nigga. Like, come on. Everything Sean was saying was not uh to the level that you niggas is bringing that shit to. And what you niggas gotta understand is this. When you niggas do that shit, it makes niggas not even want to pick Sean because all the now what they're focusing on is you niggas and shit, hyping Sean up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta really think about that shit. I wanna know... Can these dot mom niggas stand out in the quiet room? Let me know what you niggas think about Rex in the quiet room. Let me know what you niggas think about uh, K Shine in the quiet room. Let me know what you niggas think about Tay Rock in the quiet room. Can these niggas win without the crowd? You know what I'm saying? Stay but now. Let me know what you niggas think about Mook in the quiet room. Because if you really think about it, Dot Mom has always been a part of these niggas' battles. You know what I'm saying? Except for if you want to count um, um, Rex and DNA. They just had Louis the 13th out there, you know what I'm saying? But they didn't have nobody else. Like, besides that, they've really been a part of every battle. So let me know what you niggas think about Dot Mob. I fuck with Dot Mob. I'm just disappointed in K-Shawn. I really think that um, K-Shawn should have fucking came harder than that. I swear to God I do. That's just how I feel about it. But all in all, it was a good battle both sides, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, shout out to Cortez. Cortez got a fucking um, uh, interview out where he said that... uh. The, the PG niggas are copy clones and all that shit. That shit's in my description box. Let me know what you niggas think about that shit right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real shit. PG niggas, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas are calling you clones. I think I seen in my own um, face of the bank. Old Red was talking shit about the PG niggas. You know what I'm saying? And shit like, what's going on, URL? Like, what's up with you niggas, man? Can we have a top tier versus PG so we can stop all this shit? You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. Let's stop the bullshit. Have a top tier versus a PG card. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, you, you niggas are talking about the top tier niggas ain't bringing it, you know what I'm saying? They want too much money. So line them up against niggas who you obviously see are thirsty and hungry and shit. You want the um exposure for the PGs. You really can't fucking lose. The only way you can lose is the top tier niggas say no. And guess what? You are the niggas who are booking these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. Y'all gotta start taking control of shit. Real shit, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. Oh, and shout out to Calico. I seen that bullshit you put on Twitter with uh, Young L when you were talking about uh, fuck battle rap. One, one minute you're saying fuck battle rap. You're only doing it to get money and shit. The next minute you're saying you love the, the fans are crazy, you love the fans, and we're going to love you again when you beat Surf and shit. That's my word. If you lose a Surf, you're going to look like a fucking fool, man. You niggas better start watching what you niggas put on Twitter. Because, like, you niggas ain't my role models, no shit like that. But you niggas see what people are tweeting, y'all. People be tweeting y'all all kinds of crazy shit that don't even be fucking need to be even be tweeted to y'all and shit. Like, they do that shit. They, like, niggas act like if they get a retweet on Twitter, that they're going to fucking hit the lotto or some shit like that. I don't understand what niggas be saying and shit, man. Like, straight up and down, man. I saw a tweet where somebody told Calico, um, somebody told this nigga, um, who cares if you got, who cares about the whole DNA battle? You've been enough to, to be solidified as a top five, period. Like, what are you talking about? Like, how? Like, I just don't understand that shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas are the reason why these niggas don't take this shit serious. Now, that's straight up and down. That's why you niggas are telling these niggas they lo they won when they fucking clearly lost battles and shit. And it doesn't make no fucking sense. Y'all niggas gotta come on, man. Y'all gotta keep it real and shit, man. That's why this whole game is fucked up, you know what I'm saying? And off that, let's get on to this, um, D Gunner versus, uh, Illinois. You know, first and foremost, shout out to Illinois. I gotta keep real with you, my nigga. You made a fan out of me. Fuck that shit. You came three rounds, you know what I'm saying? That fucking board game scheme you did? Stupid, my nigga. That shit was stupid, my nigga. The whole dope, the whole, all that shit was dumb. My nigga, you was spazzing straight up and down, you know what I'm saying? You was spazzing the fuck out. And, um, you know what I'm saying? I see some niggas are kind of upset that the battle dropped. Like, whoa, why did North drop this shit? I'm glad North dropped this shit because I don't understand what the fuck was going on with this battle any goddamn way. Like, D Gunner, you quit, my nigga. You quit. You got to understand that. And the real reason why I'm mad is because I hear D Gunner calling up Battle Rap Arena. He's coming at Norbs. That's in my description box. You're coming at Norbs like he did something wrong, my nigga. You're mad about another battle. What about the battle you quit on, my nigga? That's not good look for Battle Rap. And I'm starting to wonder, you know what I'm saying, why you did not spit your third round. Did you just not want to spit it or was you trying to actually sabotage the battle so it couldn't drop? Now, that's some shit right there if you was trying to do that right there, you know what I'm saying? Straight up and down, you should have took your fucking loss like a man. That's disgusting right there. You fucked up all through round one. You fucked up. It looked like you was trying to quit in round two and niggas made you go again. 
Calico is on round three. He's fucking on his hands and knees down there begging you. Begging you to keep spinning. I look in the background. All I see is Midwest niggas and shit. That's fucking embarrassing right there, my nigga. That's embarrassing right there. You niggas got to understand that shit, man. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. What the fuck, man? PGs is what you... That's what's going to get you niggas popping. Y'all can't be fucking sitting here playing games with that shit. Shut the fuck up, man. Shut up, man. Come on, man. Get your shit together, D-Gunner. That's some bullshit right there. And you might have blew your chance. It is what it is. You might have blew it, man. You might have blew it real shit, man. I understand you're like, oh, shut up, shut up. Man, shut the fuck up, man. I understand that shit, man. I understand that. I mean, you, nigga, you did it to yourself, my nigga. Don't ever quit in a battle. How do you want us niggas to respect that shit? We can't respect that shit. What makes you niggas think we gonna respect you niggas not spitting the third round? You crazy right there, man. You're crazy right there. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. You gotta stop playing games, D-Gunner and shit. Like, all you niggas out there, like, come on, B, do not quit. I'm pretty sure there are plenty of battles where niggas dead ass seriously wanted to quit. Do not quit. Don't go out like that, my nigga. There is nothing cool about you niggas not spitting a fucking round. And you know what, my nigga? You sounded even more foolish on Battle Rap Arena. I just gotta keep real with you. You sounded, like, you, I don't even know why you called up. You called up not even knowing why you was mad at Norbs and shit. That's kind of crazy to me. And it seemed like Norbs was actually trying to save your fucking career because he uh, apparently you had two battles and he dropped the fucked up battle, this one first, and now he's going to drop your other battle. And you're mad at that. I mean, what if he dropped the other battle, which is supposed to be decent versus GE first, and then left you out to drive with this bullshit last? You're going to look crazy. So the nigga actually saved your fucking career, you know what I'm saying? You need to wake up and understand that shit, you know what I'm saying? You was looking all crazy on the roof. I mean, all that shit wasn't even fucking cool, my nigga. It was nothing cool about what she was doing at, at all. And I'm going to let you know that shit. Fuck all the bullshit. Straight up and down. That was some sucker shit you did right there. And, and I will not even be mad if niggas do not book you no more. I really wouldn't because they got to be a a, a, a a limit some fucking where. I mean, come on, my nigga. You can't say fuck that I'm not spitting my third, oh, really, and then get booked again? Come on, my nigga. Not on URL. I mean, hey, it is what it is. Maybe these niggas will book you. I don't know. I don't see what the point of booking a nigga who's going to quit for it, to be honest with you. Ain't nothing cool about that shit. I can understand if niggas going, if nigga choked and you forgot your shit and said, oh, fuck it. That's one thing. That's not what you did. You didn't even attempt to spit your fucking third round. And that's disgusting right there. You should know better than do some bullshit like that. And that's how I really feel about that shit. That shit is mad corny right there. Should have been down. Um... Yo, I think a King of the Dot battle just dropped. Yo, you niggas hit my description box. I'm going to try to throw, um, I'm going to try to throw, I think, a, it's the King of the Dot battle in my description box. I actually didn't see who actually was fucking battling, to be honest with you and shit. You know what I'm saying? I just know that one actually dropped and shit. That sucks that I can't shout the fucking battlers out and shit. You know what I'm saying? But you niggas retweeted and shit. Y'all niggas know what it is and shit. And then once I find out what battle is and I remember the shit, I'll put it in the description box. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. So you niggas know what battle is and shit. Now I'll actually, uh, Tag the ballot to a post so them niggas already know that we um talk about them and shit. But y'all niggas still put down them angry fan moments, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. Shout out to all you niggas out there. Fuck with me, nigga. Real shit. Me and Three Letter Man, you W Predictions about to come up. You know how we how we give it up and shit. I want to put this shell here and shit. Because I'm really disgusted at the gunner. And I really like K-Sean. Please take this series, my nigga. Like, you're going to have to start stepping it up, my nigga. Like, we're no longer... um. Intrigued by all the extra hype bars anymore. You know what I'm saying? You got some bars. I'm not saying you didn't have bars, K-Shine. Like, I fuck with you. But at the same time, my nigga, we see you falling over. And it just seems like you top 10 niggas don't have the motivation anymore. And I'm trying to help you niggas get motivated and shit. That's what the fuck the, uh, the point of this whole Angry Fan movement is. Is I don't want you niggas to, like, dead ass seriously fade to black right about now. Because these top 10 niggas are flying past you niggas in case you niggas have not noticed that shit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Yo, I want to say... Shout out to Mr. Wavy, too. Like, real shit. I just seen you versus Adi Boom again, you know what I'm saying? And, like, yeah, my nigga. I was kind of sleeping on you somewhere in that battle. I'm not even going to front. Like, I really am not going to front. I was sleeping on you somewhere in that battle. That's a good battle right there, you know what I'm saying? Um, Shout out to Brooklyn Carter. And, um, They're going to battle Blu-ray Blade, you know what I'm saying, on the PGs. I was talking shit to one of the niggas who fuck with all... Uh, well, uh, Brooklyn Carter and shit online last night, on, on, on fucking Twitter last night, you know what I'm saying? This should be a good battle. Shout out to Blue. Shout out to Briz Rothstein, all you niggas. You know how we get up over here, you know what I'm saying? The whole spit that heat. Everybody, street status, fucking uh, URL, king of the die. You know how we give it up. We talk about all the leagues over here. So, that's how I think. You niggas, let me know what you think about that motherfucking um. Hold up. Hold up. What you niggas think about Dipset, B? You niggas think Dipset... Oh, uh, was fucking with D-Block. I'm going to tell you niggas right now. We was going back and forth about this shit right here. Like, yo, I'm going to keep it a stack with you niggas, B. Like, yo, I got Dipset B 
being over these niggas. When you break it down individually, niggas be sleeping on how, how powerful Dipset really fucking was, man. Niggas really be sleeping on that shit, and it's disgusting. Shout out to my nigga Illinois. I see you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I want to see... You need some competition because you already beat Piranha. You know what I'm saying? Nigga kept doing that shit. You already beat this nigga. Now, now you beat the shit out of this nigga to the point that... I mean, he should have got... He should have jumped off the fucking roof damn there and shit. You know what I'm saying? And doing that stupid shit. I mean, I would have been embarrassed even going home with niggas and shit. After, doing, after letting my whole fucking town down and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? We need to start giving this nigga... Um, Illinois some motherfucking competition and shit, cause I like this nigga, like real shit. That motherfucker, like, like Illinois, you got some bars, you got some bars, my nigga. I'm fucking with you right now. Shout out to the whole New York. It's about time we need some New York battlers. Shout out to Steam. Shout out to Brooklyn Carter. You know we go hard TV. I fuck with you niggas, man. Um, that's what it is, man. Fuck with your boy, fan 007, nigga. Fuck with me. One.